So congratulations, you are now more successful than ever. You're getting clients, business is growing, things are good, but all of a sudden you don't have time. You don't have time for your family, you don't have time for yourself, you don't have time for your inner work, for your own development, and all you're doing is client work and you're wondering, okay, what am I doing? Is this actually effective? How sustainable is this? And will I eventually burn out and lose everything? And the answer to that is yes, a big yes. You know it as well as I do. You probably already had episodes in your life previously where you did burn out, you know, where you were making a lot of money, but because you didn't know how to effectively manage your time or because you didn't have these insights that I'm gonna share with you in this video, you ended up not being able to work and most of the progress that you've made was kind of lost. So you felt like you, you felt you had to start over again. So this is exceptionally important right now, what we're about to discuss, because I don't want you to be in that situation again, or if this is you're heading towards that for the first time, believe me, it's not something you want to be in. I mean, there's nothing more painful than being successful, having a sense of ease in terms of creating clients and in terms of growing the business and then just losing it because you're just sick and tired of doing it, right? Uh, this is a conversation that I had with my client and we dove deep into how she can solve this. And let me just share the quick strategies that I've uh, shared with her. And we're also going to dive into the mindset aspect. She was saying, look, I'm getting clients effortlessly. It's amazing. You know, thanks to our work together, I've never experienced this level of ease. She literally made like $18,000 doing nothing. And the month before $25,000 doing like so with so much less effort than before. She was averaging around $12,000. We have a case study um, on the channel talking about uh, the whole development. So um, we, we then tackled this situation, right? She was saying, look, I'm working so hard to deliver to my clients. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of the work. I said, great. You're tired of the work. Perfect. It's time to hire other people. She's a brilliant copywriter. I said, it's time to hire copywriters, do a profit share, right? Make the sales and, um, just give them a percentage of the sales and guide them to to providing quality work for your clients, right? And if you're also fully booked, then it's time to charge obnoxious amounts of money for uh, your services. And she was like, yeah, you know, I was, had, I was talking to um, this woman who became my client. And I said, you know, it's this much. And by the way, she charges a lot for her copywriting services. And the woman didn't even blink. So I think I can go, I can raise my prices. I said, yeah, of course, right? So all of a sudden, because she's raising her prices, she has the budget for you know, she has more flexibility in terms of sharing that amount of money with uh, a potential employee. And uh, because she's now thinking about hiring people, it's going to uh, allow her to have a lot of the tasks off of her plate and just focus more on what she enjoys doing more, right? That's, that's the easy fix. I mean, it's obvious. But question is, if it's so obvious, why was it that she wasn't doing it already? And I'll tell you why. And it's probably the same reason why you're not doing it already either. Most entrepreneurs that are not scaling the business and are overworking themselves and close to burnout, they don't believe in their abilities as a leader yet. They don't believe that they can lead the exceptional people, that they can find and lead exceptional people, and they're stuck into the mindset trap of, oh, you know, you cannot find great people to hire anymore. Oh, I cannot find someone to do the job as well as I can. That's right. You shouldn't find somebody who can do the job as well as you can. You should find somebody who can do the job better than you can, right? So the question is, if that person is better at the job than you, why should they work for you? They work for you because of your vision, because of what you believe in, because of what you stand for, because of your ability to lead, because they see something more in you than just a boss. They see an inspiration. They see, okay, this person, I like the way they 
think. I like the way they live. I like uh, what they stand for. So I want to be around this person. I want to learn from this person. And also, you should encourage your people to leave the business, right? It, the, the goal of you having powerful employees is not to keep them long term. I mean, some of them will, but you want to encourage them to start their own businesses because if they're superstars, why not? Why shouldn't they have their own businesses, right? So when you think that way, that is a tremendous proof of your ability to lead because leadership is not, I want you to do things for me so that I can reach my dreams. No, I want you to reach your dreams and I want to find a way that by you working here in this company, in my company, you're going to get closer to your dreams. So I want to give you all the tools, everything you need, all the inspiration, the coaching, the guidance, everything for you to get closer to your dreams, right? And when the time comes that it's not, it doesn't make sense for you to work in this company uh, anymore, that it's not getting closer to your vision, to your dreams, then, you know, by all means, let me help you find a different opportunity that will allow you to do that. Most people don't have that. Most people don't have this way of thinking, right? There is a part four in the warrior shaman mindset. The part one is the intro, the uh, designing the big vision and who you are fighting for and thinking bigger. That's part one. Then the shaman has to do with healing, healing, limiting beliefs, shifting your energy, shifting your identity to become the person who can create that big vision. And the warrior is about discipline about going into the unknown with your chest up high and your head straight and and with this look in your eyes where you say give me your best shot i am big i am tremendous i am huge give me your biggest challenge right and then you rise up to the challenge and the part four is exactly what i guided my client to dive deep into Part four is the business owner mindset. Think like a business owner. And a business owner doesn't exchange time for money. A business owner's most valuable asset is his or her time. A business owner thinks in terms of teams and systems. And he, he or she constantly thinks about how they can improve the team, how they can they can increase the performance of the team and the performance of the systems. And you might be thinking, okay, I don't have systems right now. That's a different conversation. It's very easy for you to create systems that you can delegate later, later on to a team, right? But the most important aspect in the business owner mindset is your confidence in your ability to lead. And you might be saying, okay, but you know, I'm just starting out. This is not something that's just for you that you're, you're starting out. I had multi multi-millionaire clients who were reluctant to hire superstars because they weren't yet seeing themselves objectively, right? They were seeing themselves worse than they are. And then when I got them to see themselves exactly as, uh, you know, objectively to see themselves how powerful they actually are, how capable they actually are, they started seeing, okay, you know what? I'm actually a really powerful leader. So I can lead exceptional people. That's what it's about, right? Making that mental shift. So when you do that, you get your time back, right? You have more freedom to do more of what you love, but without have making the shifts, you're heading straight to burnout, 100%, 100%, straight to burnout, and then you won't be able to, um, to work anymore. That being said, I hope you use these powerful insights. Let me know what was the most valuable one for you in the comments below. If you'd like a bit of personalized help from me, there's a link below where you can book a time. And I will see you next time. And until then, absolutely check out this powerful video that's gonna be absolutely instrumental to your growth, to scaling your business with a lot more ease and less stress.